Hello guys, here is Shuli and you are welcome to my kitchen. Today I am going to show you a very special recipe that is soya chunks curry. Soya chunks are really very good alternative of non-veg that means uh, chicken and mutton and this curry is really awesome. That means the recipe is easy and it's really very delicious and yummy to eat with boiled rice and roti and chapati as well. So guys, let's see the recipe. At first, we have to make the spices paste. So I have taken two medium sized tomatoes roughly chopped, uh, one and a half inch of ginger that is dried ginger but you may take the fresh one there is no problem actually I didn't have the fresh one so I have taken the dried. 12 to 15 cloves of garlic and about one fourth cup of dry coconut you may take the fresh coconut there is no problem and one green chilli. Now we have to grind all of them together and make a smooth paste and the paste is ready as you can see. So let's go for the main process. Here are one and a half cup of soya chunks as you can see. Now we have to soak them in hot water. Here the water is hot as you can notice. So now we have to add the soya chunks into the water. And now we don't have to boil them. But you may boil them if you want. There is no problem. But now I am going to turn the heat off. And now we have to cover the pan for about 10 to 15 minutes. And after that the soya chunks will be soaked very nicely. And after 15 minutes. Our soya chunks are very nicely soaked but uh, we have to check them. They should be fully soft and should not feel hard at all and they are fully ready as you can notice. So now we have to rinse them. So first we have to drain the hot water and now I am going to add some normal water. You may add some cold water there is no problem. And now we have to squeeze the soya chunks and remove the water fully like this. So guys let's do the same thing for all of them and here all of them are ready. Now we have to fry them. So I have taken a fry pan and added some cooking oil. When the oil is hot we have to add the soya chunks into the pan and fry until a nice brown color. I added a little salt to prevent the oil from spreading on me and now I am adding all the soya chunks into the oil spreading a little and after that we have to fry them until a nice red brown color and all of them are ready now I am taking the fry pan off and putting a curry pan here is our curry pan now we have to add some cooking oil again and let the oil heat well and after that we have to add some cumin seeds so I am adding half teaspoon of cumin seeds two bay leaves and a pinch of asafoetida after everything is fried well, we have to add some onion. So I am adding 4 medium sized onion finely diced. And now we have to fry the onion until a nice brown color. While frying the onion, I am going to add some salt. Salt according to taste. That is 1 teaspoon full. And frying until a nice brown color. And now it is a nice brown color. So now we have to add the spices paste here. And I am going to add some water washing the mixer jar to avoid wastage. Now we have to mix everything very nicely and after adding the spices paste we have to add some powder spices too. So at first I am adding half teaspoon of turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon of red chilli powder according to taste and 1 teaspoon of coriander powder. Stirring a little to avoid burn and after that we have to add half teaspoon of garam masala. Mixing very nicely. You may cover the pan for some time before adding the soya chunks but now I am going to add the soya chunks directly and after that after mixing very nicely I am going to cover the pan for about 2 to 3 minutes on low heat. So after mixing nicely I am going to cover. After about 3 minutes this is the texture and it is fully done. Now it is time to add water. Uh, add hot water if possible. But actually I am adding normal water because I forgot to heat water previously. Uh, that is not a problem but uh, add hot water if possible that is the main thing. Again I mixed everything very nicely and now we have to cover the pan and cook for about 5 to 7 minutes on medium heat. After about 7 to 8 minutes this is the texture of the curry and the thickness of the gravy is fully perfect for me. You may adjust the thickness there is no problem according to your wish. So it is nice for me. And now I am going to turn the heat off. You may add some coriander leaves if available. I did not have them so I skipped them. And after 10 minutes here is the texture of the curry. 
you may see that the consistency is very nicely perfect and it is really very yummy to look at. So, let us serve the curry. So, guys you have seen that the recipe is very easy and the curry is really very amazingly delicious with boiled rice and roti chapati as well. So, try this simple recipe at home and do not forget to share your experience with me. Hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Hope to meet you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye. Take care.